So the current state of our economy, the high levels of inflation, and the fact that we are actually in a recession right now has made retirement somewhat more of a dream for many um, for many people some of which nearing the retirement age perhaps maybe even at the retirement age or even well beyond the retirement age and a recent story has come out actually a few recent stories have come out of new ways that people can actually retire and possibly retire early in some circumstances with that i also want to share with you five ways to earn passive income and these are five simple, easy ways from renting out your closet to wrapping your car in ads. Plenty of ways that you can make extra cash on the side to help you reach that retirement goal. However, first, let's talk about a story. I'm an 82-year-old Walmart cashier who can retire thanks to TikTok. And honestly, folks, this to me is becoming a growing trend. You may have seen a previous video that I put up where I shared a story uh, of, a, of a woman who worked at Walmart and a TikToker, an influencer, the, started a GoFundMe and raised a few, I think it was one hundred and sixty dollars or $170,000 uh, so that she could pay off her mortgage and retire from Walmart. Well, here we have another instance and we actually have a few. I don't know if this is a growing trend of people actually trying to help some of these elderly seniors retire or if they're using it as leverage to get more viral clicks on their on their shorts and their TikTok uploads. But nonetheless, let's hear what they have to say. An 82 year old Navy veteran happily retired from his job as a Walmart cashier last week, thanks to the power of TikTok. Rory McCarty said he was inspired to help the elderly employee Warren Butch Marion, I guess Butch is his nickname, uh, from Cumberland, Maryland, after seeing a TikTok about an elder, elderly female Walmart employee who said she had to work at the retail chain to make ends meet. McCarthy's mission started in December when he uploaded a video of Marion hard at work and asked his 277,000 followers if they would help him retire. He then made a GoFundMe page for Marion with the goal of raising $100,000. A small business owner himself, McCarty, said he was astounded to see Marion still working eight or nine hour shifts. There he is right there. <laughs> you know, and honestly, I saw this photo. I saw this picture from his TikTok and it's or from a TikTok. Uh, and what really astounded me was not the, his age or the hours that he worked, but I was astounded by the fact that he was actually at a cash register. <laughs> Like, I thought Walmart had moved entirely to self-checkout, and uh, it was actually very interesting to see that there was a cash register and he was still employed at it. So that is actually really shocking, folks. But I want to share with you these passive income ideas that anybody can do for the most part that could potentially help you produce some extra money on the side and help you retire or even help you supplement your income while retired. Number one, sell your pictures to stock photo websites. Taking photos and selling them to stock photo websites like Shutterstock, Alamy, Getty Images, and iStock Photo is one simple way to earn passive income. And I actually found another one last night that pays, I think it pays 55% of the revenues generated from the stock photos that websites and other content creators, bloggers, vloggers, TikTok, everybody, all these social media influencers are using these royalty-free images and footage captured by others, literally just using their smartphones or iPhones, iPhone 14 Pro Max, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, S24 Ultra, who knows? But you can sell your photos and they're paying 55%. 55% from just taking a photo. So, and they're selling these jokers for almost $350 a pop. So you can imagine what kind of money you're gonna get in return from each one you sell. And the beauty of it is, is you don't have to be a professional photographer. You just have to have a smartphone because right now the smartphones are smart enough to take great pictures. The real difference is the environment and the situations that you're in to capture the moment that's where it's at, folks. But it says here that you snap photos, ensure they meet the size specs, dimensions, size, etc. Upload them and add related keywords to help them appear in search results. Whenever a user licenses one of your photos, you get a cut of the sales. Alamy, for example, offers anywhere from 17% to 60% of the image's licensing price each time it sells. 
Longtime travel enthusiast Kevin Mercier started selling fo stock photos in 2015 after a photo filled trip to Singapore left him feeling inspired. And his photo blog now averages about 100,000 page views a month. And, the, and he pulls in an average of $75 per image license purchased. The money allows him to travel more and gives him a flexible work schedule. So this is actually pretty cool because in my opinion, you can take the photos and then you can upload them to all of these sites to increase your reach. Make sure you optimize for search by adding the correct keywords to your photos and you could really be pulling in some serious money. Folks, if you guys want to see me do this because I'm going to do it. I'm just going to set up an account and I'm going to start uploading photos. If you want to see me do it, like walk through it and set it up and show you how easy it is. Comment down below and if there's enough interest, I'll be sure to make that video so you guys can see. Now it says how much uh, you can potentially earn income varies 20 image license downloads per month on Alamy would bring in about $500. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, easy to get started taking and selling photos. Each photo offers long-term residual income potential. So that's basically passive income folks and can be done from anywhere. So check it out. Number two, rent out your car. It says to people or advertisers. So if you own a car, there are a couple of ways you can turn it into a viable passive income stream. One option is to wrap it in advertisements. Rapify. Uh, Rapify is one. Nicolaitis and Carvertize are three companies offering these services. With Rapify, you download an app, create a profile, and get matched with advertising campaigns based on where you go and the times you're on the road. Once you select the campaign, your car is wrapped with the appropriate company's advertising and you can start earning. Another option is car sharing. It works much like Airbnb does for real estate. You list your car on Turo, including photos and details about its interior, gas mileage, and the Amenities and users can sign up to borrow it for a daily fee. How much can you earn? Potentially varies. $264 to $452 on Rapify, $876 on Turo. No extra equipment required as long as you own a car, may produce enough to cover your car payment or insurance. You can choose who borrows your car and what ad campaigns you place on it. But I would say that I would be careful with Turo because some car insurance and auto insurance companies do not allow for commercial use of the vehicle in this manner. So make sure you check with that before you, you do that because you don't want to find yourself in a situation where your insurance company finds out because I hear that they're searching for VINs and, and tag numbers on these sites uh, to, uh, to trigger the alert and flag these accounts and these policies. Or worse, there's an accident and then they don't cover it. That would be very bad. But this this car wrap Rapify advertising, I'm gonna look into that. I may end up, you may end up seeing this Porsche Macan wrapped with some ads on it, so I can get some passive income. Number three, invest in dividend stocks. Some publicly traded companies pay out dividends, essentially a portion of their profits, to stockholders on a regular basis. These dividends are typically only a small amount per share, but as you invest more or the company becomes more profitable, that income will grow. You may also choose to reinvest your dividends, growing your stake in the company and potentially your dividends even further. And it says that the most consistently successful path to creating and growing passive income among my clients has been investing in stocks that not only pay a dividend but have a track record of growing the dividend and this is according to tommy thompson jr a certified financial planner with innovative financial group in atlanta georgia saying that the biggest advantage to dividend investing is its lack of maintenance. As long as you choose stocks and companies that are consistently profitable, you should see earnings from your investments on a regular basis. Most companies pay dividends once a quarter. To get started, you can open a brokerage account through companies like Schwab, Fidelity, or E-Trade, and then purchase the dividend stocks you'd like to invest in. And some companies allow you to buy stocks from them directly. And how much can you potentially earn? That's going to vary widely depending on the stocks you choose and how many you own. For example, one share of 3M offers around $6 per share annually in dividends. And the benefits of this include consistent payouts, usually on a quarterly basis, and could allow you to grow your dividends further if you choose to reinvest them. Again, folks, comment down below if you'd like me to go through a list of the highest paying dividend stocks that can produce passive income from you owning these profitable companies' stocks, as well as which companies are potentially likely to be the most consistently profitable. Comment down below if you wanna see me make that video and also show you how to set that up and walk you through it so you can start building out your dividend stock 
portfolio and creating passive income. Now, number four is rent out parts of your property. Listing on Airbnb, Verbo, or other platforms isn't the only way to earn passive income from your home. A number of companies allow you to monetize other parts of your property as well. And if you have a pool, for example, Swimply, <laughs> Swimply lets you rent it out for an hourly fee. With Neighbor, you can lease out unused storage space like your garage, attic, basement, or even closet while pavement does the same for extra parking. You can even turn your yard into a, a doggy play area using Sniff Spot. I don't know if I'm more impressed by the creativity and, and innovation of renting out space or the names that they come up with for these companies. It says that the earning potential varies based on your location and demand in your area, but the setup process is fairly simple on all four platforms and you'll create your listing, set your price and start accepting reservations with neighbor. You also need to schedule a move in date. Now, again, folks, I would definitely look into the insurance of that, especially if you're allowing people onto your property to use it. You may want to go ahead and and get yourself an umbrella insurance policy if you don't already have one. And again, if you want me to go through that and show you guys how it's done, just drop a comment and let me know. How much can you earn potentially? Well, it varies. Swimply says some of its hosts earn up to $5,000 per month, while SniffSpot says $3,000 per month. That's pretty impressive, okay? That's pretty impressive for the space that you already have that you're probably not utilizing to its full extent. The pros include sign-up process takes only a few minutes, no upfront costs, and no extra equipment required. And number five on the list is share your expertise, folks. I've been telling you guys this for the longest, and a lot of you guys have a ton of knowledge and experience and wisdom and expertise that you may potentially take for granted. And don't let that happen because if you have specialized knowledge or training in the field, you may be able to turn it into a passive income stream. And one option is to create a YouTube channel to educate others. It's literally what I'm doing for you guys right now by bringing you guys this information that you may not necessarily be aware of. And if you were aware of it, I'm offering my experience in these five passive income stream opportunities to you if you want to see me walk you through it to make it even easier. So let's just see here that's what graphic designer nick saparito did when he started his youtube channel logos by nick and design made simple back in 2015 and 2017 uh, saparito now has a following of nearly 600,000 across both and his videos are on creating gifs removing photo backgrounds and other various design strategies have almost have amassed millions of views and he said, I now earn a living exclusively from the passive income I've built around my skill set. So folks, that's actually really cool. And the pros of this is obviously, let's just talk about the potential money that can be earned here. YouTube varies based on views and industry, uh, but Just Answer says experts can earn an average between two to $7,000. And it doesn't say if this is per day, per week, per month, or per year. But in my personal experience, I'm gonna say that this is anywhere from day, week, week, month. Well, year. It depends. Depends on your upload frequency and consistency, as well as a few variety of other factors, including CPM, RPM, which is the CPM is the cost per melee. RPM is uh, revenue per melee or ultimately the cost per thousand views or the revenue per thousand views which is the difference of what advertisers pay and what you actually receive. If you guys want to know more about that, just let me know. I've been through this a lot and there's a lot of different categories and channels and niches and topics that earn different pay from the advertisers. So you can, you can exponentially multiply your return on your investment of your time by sharing your expertise, by aligning your content with the higher paying advertisers, if that makes sense. And then the beauty of that after that is getting more eyes, more visibility, and more clicks, which is something that I discuss with folks in the network all the time. Um, but the other cool thing about it is, is it allows you to monetize expertise that you already have. And each video is basically going to be able to create passive income down the road in perpetuity. Basically, once you upload it, it'll continuously pay you as long as it gets views. I actually watched Catherine Manning yesterday and she went through her analytics and she was receiving a majority of her revenue on her channel from videos that were one, two, and possibly three years old because they were very popular and people continuously watch them on a regular basis. And that's that's the passive income dream right there, folks. To wrap this up, the takeaways include there are a lot of ways to create passive income, but whether you monetize skills or assets you already have, 
or branch out into a new field, those who have been there say it's all in the setup. I would agree. Now, be prepared to do the work up front in snapping great listing photos, choosing smart car wrap campaigns, or uploading plenty of videos that will resonate for years to come. And if you can do that, passive income is a real possibility. I will say that passive income typically is built off of some form of active income or active investment, that being your time. And on this last side hustle, this last passive income stream opportunity, which is sharing your expertise, I can show you guys a pretty cool way to make money yourself. And that is by actually showing you how to create a product that people use on a regular basis that they have to use, or they really should use, uh, relatively often and it has to be replenished so there's going to be a continuous uh repeat customer base from it and to sum it up it's soap it's soap but the beauty of it is, is i can show you guys how to make it why because you could then make it yourself at home and then sell it on your own for a profit or better yet i could show you guys how to wholesale it have access to the companies that create it for you sell it to you at a bulk rate discount and leave you plenty of room for margin for you to sell on your own by either utilizing their their name brand for leverage and reach or private labeling your own and creating your own brand and creating your own side hustle small business passive income opportunity if you guys want to know more again just comment down below let me know and i will be sure to bring you guys that information thanks for watching you guys take care be safe i'll see you in the next one bye